Kirk, guess what? This is my number one favorite SUV of all time. And if I can just buy one, this will be it. What this do you think? Big. Yeah, this is a 70 series. It is making its way back in Japan. It's been gone for quite a while. Quite a long time. Yeah, and they're bringing it back with a refresh. Toyota refreshing a dinosaur, that is almost like a miracle. It never we happens. We have the round the he round headlights. Look how like modern these are. There's like crystallized. If you get close here, the daytime running light on the outside has a crystal pattern to it. And then it's we have the uh, bi LED headlight inside of that. So just for those people who don't know what's going on, 70 Series is an iconic Land Rover that has been around for ages. Yeah. It was sold worldwide, except for North America, but you know, heavily yeah. used in Middle East and also in Asia. Australia, Europe, uh, Australia. I think South also, Africa. I think Europe was available too, I Maybe, think. Maybe, yeah, Europe at times, um, yeah. And again, in Japan, it wasn't sold for many years. I can't remember, quite a few years, number of decades, I should say, and decided to bring back the refreshed version. Still not for uh, for sale in North America. Never I don't will be. think it's gonna come, but I wish I could literally like a buy a condominium in Japan and just to buy that. This is the ultimate Land Cruiser. This is it. This Move is aside it. 300 series, 250. This and is look, the one. They even have radar cruise control on a oh, 70 yeah, yeah, series. Yeah. What a, we're yeah, talking what a future update. right now. But I'm going to do a quick uh, check on the gap here, guys. I have to do that. So this is built in Yoshiwara factory, which is a very traditional factory. It's also where the Lexus LX600 and the uh, Land Cruiser 300 series mm. are built, but on a different lineup. And I know that factory quite well. And the interesting thing is that it's kind of like handmade. Oftentimes the bodies are moved by hand and they're using like a little crane, crane and so forth that lift up the body. It's an interesting manufacturing concept. Uh, and therefore, I do have to say that it is not a perfect it's fit. It's not perfect. It's not a perfect no, fit. No, you can see it, it, yeah. it falls off from here to here, but the, the gap's pretty solid The gap's solid are really good. Consistent. Now, this could be like, uh, you know, maybe it's not a final version. It could be a pre-production sure, model. Sure. So, I you know, I should be fair yeah. to say that, but uh, but a paint job is superb. Oh, it's this beautiful. This is a, a basic paint, beige paint. It's not like a metallic paint. But we have uh, this over fender here which has a different texture. Mm. So you know how the Tacoma has a different paint yeah, on the bottom? A, a, more, for a more durable. Yeah, so it's got a bit of a pattern to it because it's a thicker, more uh, stone chip, resistant, chip resistant, chip yeah. resistant paint. Yep. Uh, but the best part of this is this traditional boxy design it, of Land Cruiser. It looks like a vehicle well, from the, the 70s the, or the 80s that's been perfectly maintained over the years. We got the Japanese-ish uh, mirror in the front. front mirror, yep. This is to let us let people see very close up here so we can go through some narrow streets and narrow road and, and david what do we have here this almost looks like a plug for uh charging but it uh, no no this is just the opening for the oh oh for snorkel oh, oh no, no what no, is this add blue for the diesel oh diesel yeah, so diesel, diesel treatment yeah diesel engine requires an additives every so often <laughs> uh so it's not electric this is typically the, the, yeah. the slot we yeah, see for exactly. plugs but that's for the the diesel treatment. Yeah, so that's all there is to it. <laughs> um, but usually the AdBlue um, thing is on the back. It's on the back of the where, the where you put the gas. The accordion antenna from the 80s and the yes. 90s right here. You know what? I asked one of the engineers why they still use some physical antenna like this and they just said reception is better. It's just you can't beat the reception of a steel uh, a sliding Well, yeah, antenna. and these are going to be out so, in the middle of nowhere so you exactly. need to have the best reception yeah. possible. So we're gonna go inside. How big inside. these windows are. Not sure if this guy will let us go in here. Totosimasen. Yo totemasu desu ka? Okay, he's gonna get out. You wanna go on the other side? So we're gonna hop in. Nice and high. Nice and high because it's a Land Cruiser, of course. And here's an interesting thing. We're talking about as basic as you can get. Look at the shiny plastic, oh, a yeah. little bit soft here. This is like, straight out of 1970s and 80s cars, right? Now the seats all the way back, for me. Comfortable? I'm comfortable, but if you're any taller than six foot one, yeah. that might be an issue actually, but it's not the headroom, it's the leg room. Oh, is that right? You can't yeah. see you all the way back Yeah, right? I'm all the way back. Yeah, so obviously not maybe designed for super tall people, but look at the, even the, uh, Climate control so from like, the 90s and oh 80s. Oh my goodness! Manual sliders, which I yeah, love. I love it. If I love it's it. not broke, you know, don't fix it. And oh, actually, it's working. It's the battery, actually, yeah, yeah battery the air is actually moving in here. Yeah. So it's a little bit loud here, but anyway, we have a two USB Cs here as well mm -hmm. that's updated. And Chia, uh, if you want to come around to this side, and then yeah, you can see the side. instrument cluster yeah. here. Is that a fully digital one? No, no it's part, analog. Part digital, it's it's a digital oh, on the side. Yeah. Very basic materials here, but premium however now 
This is, a, we actually have wood in here. That is oh, luxury. Wow. That's something you would see on a Lexus RX. You know what? Previous this is, generation. This steering looks like straight out of the LX steering. Oh, not the LX, sorry. Land Cruiser 300 series steering. It's it the might same be. one. It might be. It's the same steering. Yeah. Now, behind the, the console here, or behind the steering wheel, very basic analog speedometer, analog tachometer, analog gauges for your fuel temperature oil. And then we have a small digital screen on the far right hand side that we've seen in Toyota products the last decade and a half. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, here's your four by four shift knob. It's kind of yeah. in the dark here. It's really hard to see, but it's down here by your knee. Oh, um, maybe you can't see from there, but there's a differential lock here. Oh, uh, yep. We go off, push, rear, front, sorry. Yeah, rear and then front, rear. So that's a differential lock right mm -hmm. here. Um, Manual handbrake, love yep, that feature. Yep. And the seats are actually pretty comfortable. I think they changed the seat design. We have USB C's USB, in here. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned this a little is bit the earlier. Future. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So there's no stereo in, in this no, particular model. No, not even model, a stereo. But, but you have AC, which is probably optional, right? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go take a look at the back here. Let's go do that. Oh, actually, it's a lot tighter than I thought. It's tight. But you know what? Guess what? We get a, I didn't notice it earlier. Yeah, they're Alcantara. Suede. They're suede. Alcantara suede mm -hmm. insert on this. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine you have, on 70 you even series? even have rear climate control oh, back yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little slider back as well as a heated rear seats, I believe. I can't see. It's really dark in here. It's really dark. It's okay. No, no big oh, deal no, no, right no. now. I don't think it's heated rear, but it says a high-low function for the fan for temperature, control. Yeah. But the, but the thing is, Oh, well, like I mean, for me, the headroom is fine. Yeah, you're you're actually okay. He headroom's not an issue in here because it's a big box on wheels. The, the issue is leg room for taller people. And what is, we get the mesh on both sides, unlike yeah. many cars that has only one side. Because you actually might have a yeah. map to go, and then when you're going across the continent. But you know what I like is that it's almost a bit of a theater theater seating. It's a little bit higher up, you know, and I can see down. Oh, like, it, you we're, we're really high. Yeah, like really high. So yeah. I love the seat and the hip room is huge. Like it's really long here, super comfortable. I'm sure we're super comfortable on the long rise. The handle is minimal, but works yeah, there's, just fine. There's actually two handles. There's one yeah. here for off-roading probably, or maybe this helps you get in. To get in. And, and then you then, have yeah, one here for additional stabilization. Yeah. So <laughs> two arm stabilization. Yeah, definitely. They even have a light back here. Oh, that might help. No, I think the, let's take a look at the trunk here yeah, the, now. The trunk area, because it's going to be uh, unlike any vehicle we have in the United States, or at least from the Toyota end. So, it's the only vehicle. Oh, but just a reminder, everyone, but I know it's really loud here, but um, wow, so loud. We, let me take a look at the dancers yeah, go going to, on. Look, look at Yesterday, the there weren't any dancers here. Now we got the brake dancers, the car, oh, we got a DJ in the back. We got the full experience. It's loud as heck, though. The split folding you know, doors. Maybe the viewers want to watch that more. They might, yeah, I mean, it's definitely more entertaining. Anyway, <laughs> we'll finish up here by. Oh, by the way, it is a 2.8 liter turbo yep. diesel, four cylinder engine, yep. and that's the one for Japan market. But elsewhere outside Japan, you can still get a V8, I think. I think you can still get a yeah, V8. The, the 4.5 liter yeah, V8, V8 engine. turbo diesel. Yeah. 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 Yep. So I know many of you guys said, why don't we get this in North America? Well, Unfortunately, it doesn't meet yeah. emission standard or nor the um, safety standard. So yeah. we, can, you, we, can, we can wish all I we think want, you might be able to get the, the 1GR engine, the 4-liter V6 from that yeah. we've seen the, the 4Runner. I think you can get that in here as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The 4-liter V6 is offered in some of the Middle Eastern um, markets. This wow. is huge. Really this is more. Bad. I have more leg room, wow. obviously, back here than I did in either of the front seats. I have a bad knee, but I'm going to try this to climb in. This is a true tailgating experience. Yeah, there Just you go. Just put a little uh, you know, having... safari canopy up here. Ouch. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is good. This is great. We, we got like, speakers we back like... here, too, yeah. which I know is optional because the stereo is optional in here as well. We'll just open this little cabinet for yeah, this... tools. Yep, can open but look at the uh, these carpets are actually liftable. Look, it's just oh little. yeah, everything is you can is just rip it out. You, take so it you, out. Can, you can take it out and just wash it off. But you know what? Oh, this oh, is big you, too. Yeah, this we can open. open these up. This window opens. The window's up. open. Yeah. On this side, that's really good. And that's great. You know, that's going to be great for the models that don't have air conditioning. So. But this is, you know, this is really like what like a Defender is, right? And but Basic. this is body on the frame. People don't realize that. No matter how good the Defender is, the current Defender, I should say, it is not body on the frame. This no. is true body on the frame. So This is a truck. Yeah, this is a truck. You know, this is well made, hand built by a really experienced um, manufacturing people in Yoshiwara factory where Lexus LX are being built. This is as simple and as basic as you can get, but with all the modern touches of 
stuff that we want in SUV. I mean, right? there's a, a, a cruise control sensor up there for yeah. radar cruise control. Exactly. And the, and yeah. The, yeah. So that means you will have an emergency uh, braking system. You will have the adaptive cruise control. Uh, you know what? What else can we ask? And I know what you're saying. You want this in North America. We need a petition started to get yeah. this uh, up to North America. That would be how great. The thing oh. is, the thing is, you know, my initial uh, take was like, well, you know, it's a basic truck. It's going to be affordable, more affordable than it. that's not the case. These things no, are they, very expensive yeah, it's not cheap because at all. they don't break. You're buying some, you're buying a diamond. It's exactly. going to last forever. And you know what? I tried to buy some used one because in, you know, in the U.S. you can only bring uh, 25 year old cars. In Canada, it's only 15 years. Oh, yeah. So I can bring in 15 years. For the 80,000, 100,000. They're about $100,000. Yeah, they're not so, cheap. I mean, you know what? No matter how much I love it, I can't. I can't pay hundred thousand dollars to bring a used for a toy. Uh, like yeah, you know, yeah, I don't need. You're that not value. using it for work. Yeah, well, not, you know. I mean, like, that, in that case, I might as well buy the new Land Cruiser, right? Just, just in terms of usability. Yeah, a little bit more luxury in that too, more comfort. But maybe the real option is for me to partly live in Japan and order this and wait three years. Just get the Century SUV. While oh, you're there at you it. go. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks guys for watching. Yeah. We got to get out of here. It's getting busy. And uh, signing out from the iconic, the legendary, the unbreakable 70 Series Land Cruiser. Let us know if you really want it and tell us what you think of the updated, refreshed 70 Series. Bye guys. Peace See ya. Out.